Hi, I'm speaking to you here from a very different location than the last video which was out in the garden. Uh, maybe every house has a corner like this where there's a load of old boxes. This is way up in the attic. Some of these, a lot of these old boxes were just stuffed in here when we moved like five years ago. And to be honest, we never had a chance to, to sort them out and organize it a little bit. So uh, in a little, any bit of spare time I've been having during this lockdown, I've been going through some of these old boxes and Karen and Houghton Paul as well, just trying to sort stuff out. There's lots of things. Like here's some uh, some old photo albums of when the kids were small, you know. Look at these. Some some of the younger folk won't even know what these are. They're they're old slides from back when I used to live and visit in different countries around the world. Lots and lots of wonderful memories and all kind of stuff. It's but it's all just packed away and I've just had spare time uh, finding wonderful stuff that was hidden away maybe that I'd even forgotten about. So with that in mind, let me just read a verse from Isaiah 45 and verse 3, where we read, And I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. Now the context of this verse in, in, the, in Isaiah 45 is it's set in the time when the people of Israel, God's nation, were in captivity, uh, they were in exile, they were in captivity in Babylon. Uh, and that had been going on for decades, but it was coming towards an end now, and there were prophecies of their of their salvation, of their, their being set free from exile, of their return to to be uh, you know in, in the country that God had for them again. And uh, this this actual verse was referring to Cyrus, who was a pagan king um, and he lived in darkness because he, he didn't know God in that sense. But God was going to use him. God was going to use him to uh, take over Babylon and set the people of Israel free. So let's listen to that verse again. And I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. And I will do this so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. Treasures hidden in the darkness. That's what I've been finding here in all kinds of ways. But I pray that during this lockdown that you will realise that there's treasures hidden for you, for everybody. And, and, the, and it says that, that the, the verse says treasures hidden in the darkness so that you may know that I am the Lord. And you see, that is the real treasure. That is the ultimate treasure is to know God. And then it says, so that you may know that I am the Lord who calls you by name. That's why it's such a treasure. God is personal, the creator of the whole world, the one who loves us completely, the one who gives us every breath that we take, the one who makes our heart beat, the one that the whole world depends on, is personal and loves us individually and personal. That's the most wonderful treasure there is. And remember again what I said. This verse was about Cyrus, a pagan king, who lived in the darkness of not knowing God. And yet God said, there'll be, there be treasure for you hidden in the darkness. There'll be secret riches. He didn't even know about them then, but God said it's there for you. And so remember, he was a pagan king. So it's for anyone. It's for you. And I pray that you would find hidden treasures, even if these days feel dark. And also, as you find those hidden treasures, I pray that you'd find ways to tell others about the same thing, to share that good news of hidden treasures in the darkness. That's what God has for us, individually and personally. So may you find him today, because he's waiting for you.